Hi everybody, my name is Lily and welcome back to my channel. Today obviously we're going to be talking about 30 things I don't buy. Some of the things I never ever bought in the first place. I actually believe that spending habits kind of defines who you are. So I want to connect with you in this way. I want to hear from you the things that you don't buy, you never bought or you stopped buying. I love to see that people right now trying to shop sustainably. Uh, they're trying to buy more organic food from local farmers, support small businesses. This is what I I'm about as well. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. First thing I stopped buying probably like three years ago, it's a jewelry. I used to buy a lot of pretty cheap jewelry because I thought it's so cute and I actually never really enjoyed wearing it. So I was forcing myself to wear it with uh, different outfits, but I didn't really need it on the first place. I have some golden jewelry that I enjoy. It's doesn't get old or rusty, uh, it's timeless, so that's what I'm wearing from time to time, but that's it. I don't need anything else. Number two, tattoos. Some of the tattoos are just art pieces on the people's bodies and I like how it looks, but I never desired to have one on my body personally. My husband has multiple tattoos on his body and I do like how it looks, but for myself, I don't think I'm gonna get a tattoo in my life. Number three, wallets. I have one wallet that I bought seven years ago and to be completely honest, I don't really use it. I always lose all of my cards because I put them in my pockets and this is such a bad habit, but I don't really think that I have to get rid of it because I think pretty pretty soon we're not gonna need wallets at all, everything gonna be digitally. I most of the time pay with my phone, with Apple Pay, but I hope we are pretty close to paying only with our phone, so we're not gonna need wallets ever. <laughs> Number four, brand new cars. I had two personal cars in my life and both of them were used and I'm not ashamed of it or whatsoever in any way because I think that in our age we don't really need new cars and honestly there are so many good options of used cars in such amazing condition that, that I think buying a good used car is just the best option for everyone's budget. We didn't have to have a debt for buying a car, we just were paying everything by cash. Number five, latest gadgets. I don't think I ever had the desire to every year having the newest iPhone, the newest laptop, the newest watch and all of this stuff. If I see that my laptop is dead, I I'm probably gonna buy the newest version of a um, new laptop because I know that I'm gonna be having that for years and years to come but I don't feel need that I have to renew it every time the new one comes around so yeah I never buy the latest gadgets. Number six is decorations and seasonal decor. I used to love buying decor, having a lot of decorative rugs and just like things around the house. I thought it was so cute and nice, but right now I like more simplistic, minimalistic look of the house. And also we have a baby, so we can't really have a lot of things around and I'm so happy about it. I'm never coming back to decorating everything in the house. I would rather right now buy a plant and it's just the most pleasant thing to my eye and I love how it looks. I never celebrated Halloween, so I never want to buy the decorations for that. Sometimes I will buy decorations for Christmas. I love Christmas, I like Christmas lights for all of us holidays we don't buy anything we don't store any decorations because we don't really like them we think that it's pretty much a pure waste of money so we just don't do it and we're happy about it okay number seven is kind of a complex thing that I don't spend money on I don't get my nails done or brows or eyelashes I also don't do haircuts in a salon or I don't color my hair and this is a huge savings for us. I know that a lot of ladies they love to do all of those things every single month and I can't even imagine how much money they spend in a year. I don't really feel need for it. 
I like my nails simple. I actually used to do manicures for myself and for other people and I had all of that equipment and I thought, you know what, it's such a waste. I don't really enjoy the idea of it anymore. So I got rid of it and I actually stopped doing it for myself as well. I thought that it's such a waste of time on the first place and my nails getting like so unhealthy that I just didn't enjoy it. Now I don't have any nail polish and I actually like how it looks and with eyebrows I do them myself I didn't really ever want a fake lashes or things like that I used to color my hair from time to time but right now I don't really want to do that anymore I kind of get bored sometimes with the natural color hair but I know that every time I do color my hair in a couple of weeks I regret it so much that I just stopped doing it and with haircuts we started to do each other's haircuts with Nicholas probably like four years ago from time to time when things get really like ugly on our heads we will go to professionals and they just fix all of our mistakes but usually we just cut each other's hair so yeah this is works for us number eight surgical corrections that's how I named it so which I think you understand. It means that I just never had any like lip filling or I don't know, Botox or anything surgically. I didn't fix anything in my body. This is just how I've been born and I'm fine with that. So yeah, I never spent money on that. Number nine, paper towels. Now we are coming to the section of the video where I'm gonna be talking a lot about reducing waste and how we changed our spending habits for sake of this planet. And paper towels were a very recent switch. We bought these amazing reusable paper towels that we wash and we love so much. I will link down below in description the store where we bought it. I really want to support that small business so yeah if you're interested please check it out they are amazing super absorbent and we love them so much because they save us money and save our environment number 10 is about reducing almost all of the plastic in a house so we don't buy plastic water bottles grocery bags ziploc bags and plastic wrap. About plastic water bottles, I don't really want to talk anymore. I think we all understand how big of a problem it is and I actually make video about it and please check it out if you're interested. I'm gonna link it right here. We also stopped buying plastic Ziploc bags like I don't know probably two years ago we have reusable ones that are amazing we of course have our own grocery bags and little reusable produce bags that we use every time and we stopped using plastic wrap like years and years ago because we just use Tupperware if we need or we just use Ziploc bags number 11 it's a plastic toothbrushes and plastic straws I put these together because those two we switched to a bamboo products so we use our amazing bamboo toothbrushes that are more sustainable and we also have amazing bamboo straws that we use already for two and a half years and they still look brand new and we love them number 12 drying sheets and drying balls I actually didn't even know that things like that exist before I came to America we always used to dry our clothes just on drying racks and when I moved here I thought that it was just a amazing that everyone here have a dryers and it's just so cool so awesome and just super convenient and I used to buy these drying sheets all the time and I thought it was smelling so good but right now I understand that it's just a bunch of chemicals that we don't really need to inhale they are actually also harmful for us so as soon as I learned that I stopped buying them and actually we decided that we don't even want to use a dryer because as we also learned it consumes a lot of energy it's really inefficient piece of hardware in our households so we're trying to use it as rarely as possible and we just drying our clothes on a drying racks number 13 artificially fragranced items 
so this is one of the items that we actually never bought in our household you know like bathroom sprays furniture sprays air fresheners things like that we don't buy because those things are really not good for you they contain a ton of chemicals that are very harmful for us so we don't buy those number 14 all types of cleaners so there are a ton of cleaners on the marketplace right cleaners for glass cleaners for kitchen for kitchen stove for floors for walls and just like all of that i'm not even sure what else we don't buy any of that we have only one all-purpose cleaner and we have also a heavy duty bathroom cleaner you know for messy stuff but that's it number 15 liquid soap and body wash so this one is a very recent switch we've made because we started to make our own bar soap and we love it so much we wash our hands with it our bodies with it nicholas also washes his hair with it so we don't buy a man's hair products anymore but yeah i love the product that we make it's so much more sustainable it doesn't produce any waste i know exactly what goes into that soap if you want to check out our etsy page i'll link it down below i also made a video about our soap so if you want to check it out i'll link it here but yeah liquid soap believe it or not produces so much waste and it also has a lot of harsh chemicals for our bodies you might even notice that liquid soap makes your hands very dry and your body as well so if that's the case try switching to a organic natural handmade bar of soap and you will see a tremendous difference number 16 makeup wipes i don't do makeup very often but when i do i just put a cleanser on my hands and i wash my face with those hands and then i have a special towels that i use to dry my face if i feel that my face is still dirty i just have this special little tool uh, for deep cleaning of my face and i use that but yeah no makeup wipes for me for probably like four or five years i just don't use them anymore number 17 mouthwash i remember i started to use a mouthwash when i moved with nicholas he always had mouthwash i never really felt a need for it so i kind of just when we were walking through the aisle with the mouthwash kind of just didn't pay attention to it and nicholas probably just forgot that he used to have it so we just don't buy it anymore number 18 souvenirs so i'm talking about all kinds of souvenirs i know that a lot of places like to make these quickly made cheap t-shirts and hats and uh, little purses like oh you ate in our place buy our shirt and stickers and stuff and i never liked it and when i traveled for me the best souvenir always was a picture and the video because it's just timeless thing that doesn't really need maintenance and taking be taken care of and just doesn't trash our house so i just think souvenirs are so freaking useless that i'm happy that we just don't buy them number 19 baby wipes so we have a 11 month old baby caroline and when i was pregnant i was literally thinking about all of these things that we have to buy for baby to take care of her on a daily basis and it was scaring me how much impact it's gonna have on our budget but honestly it turned out to be way easier than i expected because we don't really buy anything that probably average person buys for their babies because we buy everything reusable let's start with the first thing baby wipes so we just have this little bucket and we have reusable little towels that we just clean her with so we don't really have to spend money on all of those baby wipes warmer and things like that i think that it's just such a useless product this baby wipes warmer i actually talked about products i regret buying and that no one should buy for babies and i'll link it here but yeah so we don't really buy baby wipes on regular basis we just have some for emergencies like when we go out and we need to change her diaper very quickly so we have couple always but we don't buy it for everyday use number 20 diapers we don't really buy disposable 
couple diapers that often we again we have it only for emergencies when we go out but on a daily basis i use reusable diapers those disposable diapers they just create so much waste that it hurts i love my reusable diapers and they save us a ton of money number 21 baby food i know that some people just feeding their babies with a baby food bought from the store i don't really understand that i cook everything for caroline since she was a five months old and i just make our fresh homemade baby food sometimes i can buy baby food if i don't have access to a refrigerator for a long time if we are going traveling or something so i have something to feed the baby but on daily basis we never ever have a baby food in our house. Number 22, baby lotion. I bought baby lotion once for Caroline and I thought that it just, it smelled a little weird. It didn't look natural at all. It had a lot of ingredients that I didn't understand. So I thought that if I really need a lotion for her, I just gonna use a coconut butter and I did that. But honestly, her skin looks so fine, I think maybe Maybe our natural organic bottle of soap helps <laughs> because we use our soap on a baby but her skin doesn't get dry really so I don't have feeling that we need baby lotions so I don't buy those number 23 magazines i never ever felt that i want to buy a magazine i don't even know what they write in magazines what they write in magazines can you like write it down below in a comment section so we can learn from it because i have no clue i don't buy them number 24 soda drinks this is mainly a life choice i understand how harmful uh, soda is for our bodies so knowing that stops me from buying soda Ever. I understand how sugary it is and honestly I don't really like it that much too or I convinced myself that I don't like it but yeah I never buy soda all right we're getting close number 25 salad dressings when I moved to America I was amazed by how many different salad dressings and salad dressing companies there is here. All my life, I just uh, ate salads with just olive oil, salt, and pepper. Seriously. Sometimes maybe with sour cream, but that's it. And after trying a bunch of these different dressings, I decided that I don't like them at all. They also so sugary and um, they have so many ingredients that they just shouldn't be in salad dressings. There is so many good, simple and just healthier alternatives. And I just love our homemade pasta that I'm making that we don't really buy any salad dressings ever. 26 CDs. I don't really think that our generation needs ACDs anymore. I think they're kind of like in the past already, right? So it's kind of like natural transition. If we want to watch something, we just rent it and that's it. But honestly, who has time to watch anything right now, right? I honestly just enjoy YouTube and I watch it all the time, but that's it. Number 27, cable TV. It's so funny to me that people still have cable TV. I think it's also a little bit in the past. And what do you even watch there? Like news? I think that news are very unhealthy for us. And it's a direct source of depression and anxiety. I don't see any need for cable TV. There is nothing useful there. I think we just all have to transition to YouTube. Number 28, cake cups and coffee filters. When we started to live together with Nicholas, he had this a cake cup coffee machine and we used to drink a lot of those k-cups coffee and i just feel so bad for it because it's such a waste now we have this amazing french press we drink coffee only from there and it's totally sustainable it doesn't need any filters or anything so no waste number 29 frozen food pre-prepped food and canned food we don't 
ever buy this frozen pre-prepped food. I think it's so gross. It was so funny for me when I moved here and we were walking down the frozen aisles. They are big here in America. They are not as big in any other country in the world. It was like a game for us. I was asking Nicholas like, what is this? What is this? Is it a frozen bread? Like, I was so amazed by just frozen garlic bread and just there's so many things that are just trash. Uh, you can't understand what it's made of. It just looks like a mush, like frozen mush. And um, I'm sure it's so bad for you. I also don't buy any pre-prepped food. Like, I don't understand why people buy in like, I don't know, pre-prepped uh, chicken salad, things like that. I get it if you like traveling and you really need to eat something very quick but on a daily basis I think it's just crazy and canned like soups and things like that I also had no idea that people have things like canned soup that I don't even understand you like pour it out and you just warm it up and it's done like, I don't know I was asking Nicholas so many questions about it and he was just laughing for him it was just funny that I don't understand it but I was like whatever I don't think I need to understand it so yeah we don't buy anything like that for our household number 30 alcohol this is also a recent transition we stopped drinking like almost two years ago it's gonna be two years in a couple months nicholas stopped drinking almost exactly two years ago it was just his life choice he said that he doesn't really want alcohol in his life and uh, he thinks that it's really harmful for his body i didn't stop drinking when he stopped i still was um, having occasional you know uh, cocktail and stuff but then i got pregnant and i kind of thought about it that we don't really need alcohol in our lives right i get like a glass of wine once in a while once in a couple months maybe in my lifetime i will have some wine but maybe not i don't know i recently started buying kombucha for myself and it, it's just so pleasant and satisfying Fine. It gives me this satisfaction like from glass of champagne and glass of just cocktail. So I enjoy it so much that I thought that if I really want something like alcoholic, I'll just drink kombucha because it's kind of... Um, equal for me the satisfaction is equal so since alcohol is so harmful for our bodies and for our mind and sanity and it's so harmful for our pocket right we just made a decision in our family that we just won't drink and i think it's one of the best life choices we've made in our life so that's been who that been a long video i haven't got tired filming it yeah i hope we became a little bit closer after this video and you understand a little bit better about who i am and if you did like this video please let me know by clicking a like button and if you want to see more videos like this or about minimalistic lifestyle or motherhood sustainability if you're interested in any of those topics please click the subscribe button and notification bell so you never miss another video and yeah thank you so much for stopping by and see you next time